At 12 o'clock, we got the first really interesting game of the day. We got number 10, Notre Dame, who started off the season 2-0. Week 0 win and week 1 win. Traveling to NC State, who also started off the season with a win last week against UConn. Uh, Notre Dame, fair by 7.5 points on ABC. Sam Hartman for Notre Dame for the past two games. has become 33 of 40. Throw for 445 yards and 6 touchdowns to 0 interceptions. Audric Estime said 29 carries for 211 yards and 2 touchdowns. That means averaging at least 100 yards a game. That's good. Jaden Thomas had eight catches for 125 yards and a touchdown. Brennan Armstrong, in his first game as the NC State quarterback, went 17 to 26, threw for 155 yards, also led his team on the ground with 19 carries for 96 yards and two touchdowns. And Kevin Concep Concepcion had four ca ca catches for 36 yards. NC State leads the series, weirdly enough, all time, two to one. Last game went to Notre Dame in 2017. There's been one game that's been one possession, and that game was won by NC State. So I think what's really interesting here is NC State did not start off the year with a baller way against UConn, right? They let UConn hang around for the majority of that football game. Now, to be fair, um, UConn's turning into a respectable program, at least. Um, it's not an insanely bad program that it once was, so playing a close game to them isn't as embarrassing as it once was. And we don't know exactly what we're getting out of no Notre Dame. Uh... They beat Navy badly, but we all know Navy's probably going to be pretty bad this year. They beat Texas State, uh, Tennessee State very badly. I got you, William, who uh, corrected me in the last video. That wasn't Tennessee Tech. It was Tennessee State. Tennessee State badly, but again, that's Tennessee State. This is Notre Dame's first real challenge, right? This is their first Power 5 football team they're playing, or at least a high-quality like team. Like, Notre uh, Navy is not the highest quality when it comes to group of fives. It's probably on the lower half of that spectrum. Uh, probably one of the 10 worst programs in college football right now. Notre Dame is actually going to face, feel a challenge here because, again, the Wolfpack, not only are they normally a decent football team, again, Dave Doran gets those guys to play. Um, they're, Notre Dame's going to NC State, so even the Wolfpack get their home field advantage. Um, I think this game could actually be a lot more interesting than it turns out it could be. It could be a lot more interesting. It all depends on who Notre Dame is. NC State played a close game against UConn. That's not a great sign. But again, Notre Dame has yet to face any sort of challenge whatsoever. If they played UConn, what would happen? I don't know. Notre Dame's a really good football team. They have the better quarterback in Sam Hartman. They have the better court running back in Audric Estime. Um, you got to rock with those two things. Sam Hartman, I think, is a player that could be a considering a Heisman candidate. Um, he's a really good quarterback. I think Notre Dame fans have fallen in love with him over the past two weeks. Give me Notre Dame to win and cover in this matchup.